The United Kingdom has agreed to transfer sovereignty of the Chagos Islands to Mauritius, ending a decades-long dispute over the archipelago in the Indian Ocean. This decision follows years of diplomatic and legal battles initiated by Mauritius and the Chagossian community, who were forcibly displaced from their homeland between 1967 and 1973 to make way for a military base established by the UK and the United States. The Chagossians, the original inhabitants of the islands, were evicted under a secret agreement between the UK and the US to create the British Indian Ocean Territory, BEOT, and build a military base on Diego Garcia. The creation of the BIOT in 1965, the last colony the UK formed, led to the removal of about 1,500 Chagossians, who were relocated to Mauritius and Seychelles. Many were told they were only temporarily leaving for medical treatment or holidays, but on their return, they discovered they were permanently barred from going back to their homes. During their forced removal, Chagossians endured severe hardships. The UK authorities cut off food and medical supplies to pressure the remaining inhabitants to leave. Their pets were killed, homes demolished, and families torn apart. Once relocated, they found themselves living in extreme poverty, facing discrimination, and struggling to rebuild their lives in foreign lands with limited support. For years, the Chagossian community has fought to return to their homeland, winning several court cases in the UK, but each victory was subsequently overturned on appeal. In 2019, the International Court of Justice ruled that the UK's administration of the Chagos Islands was unlawful and recommended the immediate transfer of the islands to Mauritius. Despite this ruling and a subsequent UN resolution supporting it, the UK continued to resist until now. The Chagossian people's struggle is not only for territorial rights, but also for cultural survival. In exile, they have worked to preserve their distinct heritage, passing down knowledge of Chagossian cuisine, language and music through community workshops and projects in Mauritius and the UK. However, as many elders pass away, fears grow that their unique cultural identity may disappear forever. The recent agreement between the UK and Mauritius, which includes the Diego Garcia military base remaining operational, has received mixed reactions. While some welcome the move as a step towards justice, others, including conservative politicians in the UK, criticise it as a dangerous concession of British territory. Despite the historic announcement, it remains unclear if and when Chagossians will be able to return to the islands, or if they will receive proper reparations for the suffering they have endured over the past half-century.